Could it be that the boss is the new Cyclops killer? Because she killed... We saw a video of her killing So Sejima last time, except we hit a plot lock on that timeline, so we're starting from another timeline where that didn't happen. You see... We got here, and th this over here, this is where the boss killed Sosajima. Up here, in the upper left. Possibly also maybe, like, around here in the left-hand timeline, mul in multiple times, could it be? But we saw it happen here. But we're going back to the right-hand side over here. Now, if you remember what this is... We got to this a while back, and in here we learn about Aset's brain tumor, which is what makes her think the things that she's been... You know, we believed her in one timeline that she was fighting against this Illuminati sort of organization called Nikes, and then in this other timeline we found out, nope, it's a brain tumor. So we found out about that, and then this timeline ended with Date finding Iris stabbed to death. As will happen with her... It's not the first time. So we are going to reopen this investigation. And uh, for some reason, the plot lock here has unlocked. So we're going to see what happens after this point. Is Iris really dead? We found her dead body. But it wouldn't be the first time. We're in the warehouse. Have you settled down? We've had plenty of time to think it over. The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. Well, good? Actually, I'm not sure if that's good, because it means that Iris is actually dead. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. Well, it is a tough day, I, I guess. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I mean, in this timeline, we got to know Iris pretty well, so it's not just anyone who got killed. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Not like this, not like this perfect machine that lives in my eye socket. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. All right. Serious business happening here. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date does not feel like serious business. Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of me. No, I wouldn't say Iris died because of us. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. Man, it's been so long since we were on this timeline, I forget if that's true or not. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. Dandelions? What? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Yeah, this place is always real cold in every timeline. Why is that? Why does the warehouse have to be kept at freezing temperature? The warehouse was being used to preserve something? Maybe the AC is broken? Ice cream? Oh, I see you are back to making jokes. I am glad to hear that, but please stay focused. Well, let's say it's to preserve something. To preserve something? Yes. Let us... Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? So 
Are you referring to that it's the right eye that was missing this time and not the left eye? How could the killer make such a mistake? That is a unique factor. But there was something else. Something more peculiar. Um... I guess it was completely frozen? Iris' body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris' weight... Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Yeah, it's been a while, but that's this timeline, where we found Iris dead in this place. But then we went into Sosajima's Somnium and stopped her from being murdered in the Somnium. And then Iris was alive in the real world. And we don't know why. Why? We, we don't know why, Iba. How could Iris still be alive? Iris is actually dead. This is what Date believed, that he saved Iris in Somnium. The corpse was a hallucination. You mean... You mean? You mean? You mean? You got it. I do? Wait, what do I got? We we got it. Man, I got to remember that trick. If someone's explaining something to me and they ask me if I what do I think, then I can say you mean and then they'll say exactly. And they'll think I'm smart. Because I figured it out. Anyway, let's use our x-ray vision. I don't see anything. I don't believe it. But is that a problem in itself? There should be a skeleton? The stomach is swollen slightly. Am I looking at a stomach? Like around, around in here? She appears to have been pregnant. Oh. How? Well, Date... Uh, I guess let's get into it. Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. Okay. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. Well, of course. Must Exactly. Is... This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. Exa perfectly obvious, Iba. Why don't you tell me what that is? I, I don't even need to say it myself. This corpse isn't Iris. Okay. I, I guess, yes. The idea that the corpse just looks like Iris and is not her would probably make more sense than anything. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. Right, it's Schrodinger's Iris. Until we observe her, she is both dead and not dead. Date, take a look at this forklift. Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. Hmm, a kitchen knife with flowers on it, maybe. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. All right. So Date did not change the world. Insomnium. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Oh well, it looks. For, look, she looks pretty good for being dead for ten years. Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago. Exactly. And since an eye is missing, does that mean she's a victim of the original Cyclops killer? Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. 
But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. Yes, let's do that. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night. We saw so here. We did see so here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnia. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. Not necessarily. We told So knew that we were investigating him for Iris's murder, I think. I think we established that before. That he might have seen Iris being killed in his Somnium because he knew that's what we were investigating him for. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than 10 years ago. Mm, maybe. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That's right. This is the timeline where Renju didn't die, but we just never found him. That means that we need to talk to... So Sejima. I guess he's still alive in this timeline. Of course, in the other timeline, we saw a purple person killing some people, and that purple person had Date's reflection. So the person stabbing Iris in So's Somnium might not be So. Just focus on what we can do. Alright. Let's talk to our dad. Never to show your face here again. Oh, everyone says that to Date. He never listens. Let's question him. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead. I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. It's getting hot. The old man's heating up. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman. You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. Why would he keep it around for ten years? That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. I don't, I don't know. It seems like that might be a bit of a hole. It's a garden stone. I actually wanted to look at so. Let's question him. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly... Oh, the, the bodyguards. We forgot about the bodyguards. We'd like to ask you to please leave. We're gonna, we, we know that to get to so we have to kill all these bodyguards. But it's unfortunately there is no lightning right now. Guess we're gonna have to go. And granted, we really have nothing on, so we're just yelling at him, but we really don't have any proof of anything. Anyway, we're in the car. Damn it, so damn it. There's nothing we can do. That's true. We did arrive without a warrant. We did. We were technically trespassing. We were. We would be in a predicament. We would have been. We would have been detained immediately. That's right. Who would look after Iris then? I mean, we've done we've done a bad job of that so far. Maybe Iris should get looked after by someone else. Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? I'm sure Mizuki could handle it, but Ota might drag the whole thing down. <sighs> ah. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. <sighs> lead. We need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Sure, let's name the body. Because she is 
frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? No, no, that's a, that's a terrible. No, no one would. That's a bad idea. Let's not do that. It does not. Uh, let us call. We surely we can come up with a better name than that. All right, Alice. I guess we're going with Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. All right, we're doing this again. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Mm, yeah. Three times, in fact. We saw the corpse in Mizuki's Somnium at the beginning. The first time. Mizuki's Somnium at the beginning. Oh, how many days ago? I haven't been counting how many days have passed by. Let's say three days ago. Three days ago. Saturday night when I sinked at Abyss. Yes. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Yeah, and then we were worried that Iris might be murdered because we saw it in Somnium. Question two. Uh-huh. Well, Adrian? Did we... Have we met an Adrian? Adrian? Adrian! No, of course not. That was just there for a Rocky joke? Uh, what about a virus? A virus? She was way too big to be a virus. Take this seriously, Date. And some say humans might be the ultimate virus. It was Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. So that must... I mean, I guess that would mean Mizuki must have seen Alice at some point. Most likely, yes. But where and when? So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? It was Mizuki. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. Yeah, but why would that, like, actually be real? But prophecies are nonsense. They sure are. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Right, so when did Mizuki see Alice? Mizuki has seen Alice before. Dun dun dun. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. Akume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's head over to Mizuki. Ask her if she wants to see a dead body. Date. Yep. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. Aerial yoga? And we would talk about all our problems together. Now tell me about this aerial yoga. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. It's just like yoga but you're on an airplane? So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Where is your dad? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. No one has. Um, let's ask about Oda. I think he's searching Akihabara right now. He's probably just looking at video games. Last time 
Jimmy checked in, he said he didn't have anything. About this dead body that looks exactly like Iris, but is not Iris, and was killed ten years ago, but her body was perfectly frozen, and I and she, you dreamed of her? Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. Very important, very confusing. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, about Alice? We told her everything. Renju ran off with 89. 89 is connected to Sosujima. Sojima's linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Okay. I'll tell you about Alice. The, about Alice. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnisgate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. So for like a, a decade, this dead body has been kept in this forklift. You think that you think they find a better place to keep it? Or why keep the body at all, really? I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift and I looked under the hood myself, and then you saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. Did you talk to your dad about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. Right, if you really, if you don't want it to have happened, then it didn't happen. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. We can just pretend it didn't happen. Just work our way through this. What dead, what dead body? Repressed memories are often the subject of Sonia. Look, we know Iris is not dead, so clearly this is nothing. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? was alive. I thought I was going crazy or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. About Okiora Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night. Oh, last night. Before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? 
because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... About Okiara Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. About Okiara Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiara Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. What, this warehouse is not usable to anyone except the one person? The whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. He told everyone, look, the warehouse is my hidey hole. No one else can go in there. That's where I play. It's my fort, you understand. How long was he managing the warehouse? Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? Hmm, 18, you say? Yes. Iva, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica. It's Homie's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Iva, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. Alright, looks like we're going into a brain. Time for some brain investigation. You know, on I forgot that on this timeline, the right-hand side, Date is a terrible detective. Mizuki apparently is a much better detective than him on this side. Mizuki actually doing some detective work and figuring some, some stuff out. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? How can Hitomi stay calm? Well, looks like there's only one thing to show. There's information on Monica. EY Monica. She has been missing for 18 years. She was 19 years old at the time she went missing. Monica, Hitomi Sagan, and Renju Okiara all attended a Toku High School. There's the autopsy report. Monica's body was found completely frozen solid. Her right eye was missing. Her body shows multiple stab wounds from an edged weapon to the back of the torso. The cause of death was those stab wounds. The murder weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. 
she was also pregnant until just before her time of death. Where she was found? Monica's corpse was hidden under the hood of a forklift in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. This warehouse has been under Renju's management for 18 years. Mizuki witnessed Renju checking on the corpse. This of course means that Renju knew about Monica. And there's when Monica was murdered. Because Monica's corpse is completely frozen, it is difficult to determine her time of death. However, her appearance appears to be unchanged from when she went missing 18 years ago. Thus, it is extremely likely she was killed around that time. So her baby would be... Dot, dot, dot. Just turning 18. Alright, let's uh, show information on Monica. Because that body isn't Iris. And you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Why would Renju be questioned about dumping a body? Well, we can say where where she was found. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It says achievement unlocked interrogation implicate Hitomi. I wonder why there's an achievement for that. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Date, she's not going to talk. Yep, this sees an impenetrable wall. This one's not going to crumble. No point in even trying. Yeah, I guess we might as well do the dream thing. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. You sure have told me enough times, yes. I can't promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But if it's only a little... It's only a little takeover! No, not even a little! We can have a little takeover. If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable! Let's treat. But what does that mean exactly? No one wants to say. Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. Just someone who would be hiding something would say exactly that, Pewter. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... <sighs> what happens after six mi minutes of pisinking? Well, first off, 
Six minutes is not a hard limit. It's more like a suggestion. It could be seven or even eight. Uh, who knows, really? I'm just impatient, Date. I need to get home on time. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Actually, no. There's been a lot of dialogue in this game, Pewter. I don't remember a story about an egg. Yeah, why? I don't remember it. If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. Oh, I think the reason I don't remember this metaphor is because it's dumb. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yoke will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. Do you have any other food items that could be used for this metaphor, Peter? After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. People frequently eat eggs with toast. Where is the toast involved here? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. Wait, I didn't know that body swapping was on the table, Pewter. I didn't know about that. That brings up- that opens up some options. Thank you for the- Thank you for the visual aid. <laughs> See these arrows? This is where they go. <laughs> you could have just, like, had two heads. Like, two skulls. And the arrows, like, pointing between the- like, between the two skulls. They don't have to be eggs. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness. And it can only contain one person's memories. Anything else? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. All right. Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But don't we want to exploit it? Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Okay, could we like body switch like back and forth? Come on, boss, you know you want to try it. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. There, wait, there are other sinkers? Wait, hold on. There are other people who do this? Because I don't think that's been mentioned yet. A project sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. You think if this is so top secret, they could give Dati a bigger paycheck. Even sinkers are on a need to know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Man, those bad- we have met some bad people. Bad people? Yeah, they, except they, they were after Iris, not Date. A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. Oh, nice. Yeah, we 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 know about them. If you blabbed about Project Sync... And I, we, Date has a big mouth, it's true. The entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sync machine isn't just for entering a person's Somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that sounds like a more interesting application, boss. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. Well, I mean, ours hand, our hands are the right hands, aren't they? What could the right hands do with that? That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let this secret get out. You're gonna tell so many people? Thank you for showing me the visual aid again. <laughs> See, this is how it works. If you forgot. <laughs> Swapping bodies between two people? 
trading minds. What about the body swapping? Are you listening to me? Can we establish whether or not you can body swap I got it. back? Like after you do it once? I think that's important. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. I wonder if that would also work with the prototype machine. Like, could could could, <laughs> could people swap bodies with that one as well? I am the god of fire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. What? Well, not not the erotic books? I how ruthless. Are you okay? That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn it. The fog is making it pitch black. The light over there. Is that a firefly? Hmm, that's another person. I guess Satomi is in here as well. Reveal the hidden secrets. We have to reveal Hitomi's secret buried deep inside. What is this secret? It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Mental lock one. It says light it up. We're not far away from mental lock one. There's only one thing to look at here. So and we'll probably look at it when we come back from a little bit of a, of a break as we digest the information that we just learned. Like one might digest two eggs after you crack them open and switch the yolks between the two shells and then eat them. Eat them whole. Like you might do that. Back in a little bit. Time for serious business in a serious Somnium because this person we're talking about was killed 18 years ago. You know what that means? That's as bad as three six years ago's. The situation is getting more serious all the time. Anyway, here is a, here's a flower bud. We need to light it up. We need to get lit. A flower bud? I cannot identify the variety. Is it an iris? <laughs> sure. Well, first, let's worship it. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. A little? Is it lit, fam? I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. That's what I always say every day I get up in the morning. Oh, it is lit. We lit it up. Time to shake. 
What do we shake? Who knows? Let's see. There's hole in tree. There's rock one, rock two, rock three. Uh, let's see. We would go in the, in the opposite direction for rock one. So maybe let's go for that first. Is that it over there? Yeah, that's it over there. It's a large rock. It's more like boulder one. A rock. We can kick, investigate, worship, lift. Well, it said we want to shake, right? Well, first let's investigate. Let's see if we can get a timey. This is a simple rock, but is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. Simple rock with simple pleasures. Oh, I didn't get a timey at all. A rock. Let's lift it, bro. Do what? Just try. Understood. Well, did you find anything? No, of course not. I forgot that you're not Mizuki. It's true. Right, we did get a timey, though. A rock. It's a rock. Let's kick it. Understood. My foot hurts. I see. My foot hurts! Sorry, sorry. Well, we learned something valuable. The rock is solid. A rock. Let us worship the rock. But it's a rock. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. Guess it was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. I guess there's nothing we can do with this rock. We did get some timeies, though. Five minutes left, Ate. So at least there's that. All right, there's hole. Uh, let's see, there's rocks. There's hole in tree. What can we do with the hole in the tree? I mean, we could like walk in there probably. It's big enough. Hole in the tree. I may be able to fit inside. Uh. <laughs> well, let's uh use a timey and scream at the hole. Stop giving me orders! I didn't know you had all that bottled up. Sorry. My voice is echoing. It must be pretty cavernous in there. A hole in a tree. Hole in the tree. Um, oh, <laughs> now it's added please to all of them. All right, let's uh, peek inside. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Did you notice anything? I did hear the faint sound of the wind. It must be hollow on the inside. A hole in it. Well, we should probably try to tackle it. Beetles might fall out. This isn't one of your animal friend video games. Nothing fell. Did you want something to fall out? Nothing. We did get a timey, though. A hole in a tree. Well, let's oops, stick the hand in, please. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? I can't promise that. is coming from we made a little bit of progress we still need to, to shake though what does this say there's oh 
there's Renju is like right here. Where where is it, Renju? Is that Renju? Yeah, that's Renju. Renju's name over there. All right, all right, you. You're wearing different glasses. I think those are different glasses than what you usually wear. Well, we finally found Renju. Finally. Renju Okiura. Well, clearly we need to flirt with Renju. Yoo-hoo, Renju. Come get some of this. Come on. Sorry, that was a bad idea. Don't apologize. This is Renju's fault for having bad taste. Iba was rejected. No interest shown by Renju. Renju Okiura. Uh, let's see. Let's, um, well, let's inspect him. He looks young, but this is definitely Renju Okiura as he appeared approximately 20 years ago. 20 years? That's two more than 18. That's a long time ago. Renju o Let's talk to him. Renju, what are you doing in a place like this? He won't answer. Not in a place like this, at least. Hmm, we need to move him somewhere? What? Renju okay. We could always hit him. This is for neglecting your responsibility to Mizuki, you coward! No use. I can't hit him. This Renju is still a teenager. He wouldn't know Mizuki yet. You could have tried harder to hit him, I think. Alright, well, there's a second hole in tree. There's also rock two and rock three. So hole in tree two is new. These rocks, I think, are the same rocks as before. Hmm. Is this path telling us to go here? This hole is smaller. We cannot fit our entire body in there. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Well, let's stick our hand inside. Work last time. I am not going to be sucked in, am I? No promises. That's strange. It should have worked. Did you want to see me get sucked in? Yeah. A hole in the tree. Um, well, we need to shake it, whatever it is, so let's try tackling. Understood. I will do my best. Oh, something fell. This is... A picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. H happy memories. Back in high school. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Alright, we got a little bit forward. Three minutes, Date. Three minutes. Hmm. So we got this. Should I... Well, no, there's nothing else I can do with this tree now, it looks like. There's Renju and two rocks. I assume we should go back to Renju. We could try to interact with this rock. Whoop. Or should we? can we show Renju this photo? That's rock one. That's Renju. Would we have a new option to show Renju the photo? Renju Okiura. Okay, yeah, we do have a new option. Renju, look at this. Renju runs away from his memories. Renju, stop! He can't face the truth. Well, he got there. We shook. Oh, we were not physically shaking something. We needed to make Renju shook, I see.
You still need to shake, apparently. We have hole one. And these rocks, I think, are still the same. So, well, like, the holes have worked out pretty well for us. Can't go wrong with a good hole, I guess. That's what they say. Oh, it's like a bot. It's a bottom hole this time. That's what they call that. This hole? It sure. It looks like it goes on forever. Should I really jump in? Really? Yeah. Go ahead. Understood. It's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Where is she? Look for her. All right, we're a little bit further. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Yeah, and there's four locks, I think, so we're not doing too well here. There's a hole in tree. We can also look for rocks. I don't know if we actually need to interact with rocks, but there's hole and tree over there. We should pro So far, like the pattern has been hole and tree. Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty big. Well, we've tried tackling, and that worked last time. The objective is still to shake, right? So let's try tackle. Leave it to me. I will break it down. Huh? Ah! Date, perhaps we should pursue a more peaceful route. Yeah, I agree. It was not that. I did get a timey, though. A hole in a tree. All right. Why don't we try peeking inside? What is this? Stick your head in there. Some kind? Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have web on my face. Mm, no timey from that one. A hole in a tree. It's a hole in the tree. Let's scream in the hole. Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink, but still. Well, that got Hitomi's attention. Hitomi stopped. You have one minute left. say anything to her? Or do I need to find something to give her? Um, well, we know what, we know what Date would like to do, but I guess let's try talking to her. Hitomi, what are you doing here? Guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. Hmm. Do we need to find something to bring it to her? There is another hole in a tree. That hole in the tree is there. It's not gray. That hole in the tree is still blue. So, so far, this whole thing has been interacting with holes in trees. It's been pretty consistent. A hole in a tree. Sure is. Let's stick our hand in that hole in the tree. Sucked in, right? Hmm? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. Who could it possibly belong to? Hold on to it. Data, you've got less than 30 seconds. I see it, but at the very least, maybe we figured out how to get to the third lock. That's Hitomi. Give her the bracelet. Do you remember this? Wait! 
Follow her. On it. Yep. It took all of our time, but we made it to the third lock out of four. What is objective four? Well, objective four is to reveal the secret. I mean, we've got a little bit. It's a little bit of time. There's hole, hole number two. Why don't we check out hole number two? See, we made it to hole number two. A large hole. Was this here before? There wasn't a hole here before, but there is. It doesn't roll off the tongue going the other way like that. That really jump in. If there is nothing left to do, there's nothing. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. It hasn't been actually been getting darker with each time, has it? Seems kind of the same. Can you feel your way around? I can try. And that's gonna be it. Date, we can't. Time is up. Time to body swap. Damn it! Is it over? I guess not. They can't just tell us that we can body swap if we go over the six minute time limit and then just say, nope, let's not do that. All right, let's restart. And since we now have a better idea of what we're doing here. So I guess the rocks, the, so far the rocks didn't do anything. We did get some timies from them. A flower bud. But it didn't seem like they were uh, required. Worst. All right. Next, we there's rock one over there. What does that say over there? I don't think that could say hole and tree. There's hole and tree. A hole in a tree. Hole in a tree. Um, let's see, it was peak inside for this one, I think, because we get pulled in. Oh no, it wasn't peak inside. A hole in so I guess it was stick hand in it, stick hand inside, stick hand inside. There we go. There's Renju, and there's hole in tree number two. I wonder if we have to talk to Renju before we can get the thing from the from the tree. Uh, let's try going to the tree. A hole in the tree. It's a hole in the tree. We tackled it and the thing fell down. Here it goes. All right, we got that. Let's head back to Renju. Renju, oh. And want to show this picture? Renju, look. All right. Let's see, hole one. It's over there. There's hole one. What is this hole? Get on in there. minutes. hole in tree three. Another hole in a tree. Another hole. Uh, so let's see. Tackling did not work this time. Uh, we needed to peek inside to get the thing, right? Now that got webs on our face. Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have got web on the face. All right, let us scream at the tree. Screaming at holes is the solution to all of our problems. Oh, that's right. Then that got Hitomi to come out. And we still needed to get the thing from. Okay, then it gets replaced with stick hand in. 
and then we get bracelet. I forgot that we screamed to summon Hitomi. That's Hitomi. It's Hitomi. Show the bracelet. That's number three. And we're a little less than half time, a little more than half time used, I should say. We want to find hole. Is that hole over there? No, that's... Hold on. Hole two. I think that's hole two. There we go. We found hole two. A large hole. Was this here before? Jump in. If they All right, so this is where we ended last time. We have two minutes to go this time. All right. So, oh, only one thing to look at. It's like way over there. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. Things getting in my way. Make, making me use this time. Look at these branches. Making me waste this time. A Lycoris flower. Hmm. What's the objective here? It's reveal the secret. A Lycoris flower. Well, last time we saw a flower, we, we worshipped it. But would we want to do what that? Well, we want to reveal the secret. And how can we reveal? Maybe if we dig up the flower. Let's do it. Yep. Dig up that dirt with your bare hands. A hole. hole. Surprising. We made progress, though. A large hole. Oh man, really? There are no rocks around. All right, that's the only thing we can do. We've come this far. I will not protest now. The secret has been revealed, though we didn't have any time left. If I got that one of those timeies from the rocks, like that one eighth, I could have just used it there to have some time left over. But we did not. But we did get the achievement, and we re we revealed the secret. They buried her. Why did they dig her up, and freeze her, and put her in a forklift in a warehouse? I guess it was a better place than just burying her. Tell me. I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. That guy gets around. He, like, kills a lot of people, probably. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. And we don't like him, so he probably killed someone. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Oh, we went back to her house. I guess we're not doing official questioning anymore. Just casual questioning. 18 years ago. Uh... 
Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why... He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times, but she never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. That's right, Date. The purple man just came out of nowhere and murdered. Did she? Is that how her story was going? Like, how was she explaining that? She went to see So to tell him what happened. Then, when she turned around to leave, the purple man came out and stabbed her to death. I'm not. Sh I'm not entirely sure what the words were that that Hitomi must have said. Oh, we're looking at the machine. About Monica's killer. Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? We did. But that's not true. Mm hmm? Monica was killed by Saito Sejima. But who could that be? The son of So and his late wife. Hmm, the son of So. Wait a second! Saito was 12 at the time. Fortunately, we don't know that so's our father. Twelve? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. We 
What did So say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. And what happened after Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Mola. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Listen to the rest of the story. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. <laughs> well, that, if you can't trust a mob doctor, who can you trust? Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We I knew what the hole was for. But I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Oh, right, right. He likes the eyeballs. I forgot about that. Beautiful. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw... Those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay, I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse.
This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Monica, don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Yeah, we can talk to Renju, 19 years old. About Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... 12 years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come, so wait until the right moment, okay? Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. Ah, thank God for mob doctors. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Yeah, but she told us to look after the baby until she got back. Just turns out, it's, it turns out that's a permanent job now. Soon you won't even be able to think about that. You'll be too busy carrying, caring for this baby, which is going to take up all your time and your entire life. Really, you won't be able to think about anything else. Because a war is about to begin. War? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Yeah, I mean, this kind of just dropped into your life. Whatever plans you had, you can just kind of kind of say goodbye to that. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. By, by, for God's sake, don't let her become a streamer. Occasionally. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Every so often. Occasionally, huh? What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah. 
I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. I thought eventually I would get to stop doing this, but no, 18 years later, I still have to do this to get her to go to sleep. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full raising Iris. Since when my hands were full with baby, my hands had no time for murder. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Precious memories. Mommy, I won race today. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy is very proud. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it. My body dances on its own. I got dance fever, Mommy. I can't stop it when it takes over. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Now this is just our own private barbecue, Iris. We don't know anyone else. We had to cut ties with society. Or else the Yakuza would come for us. Take my bone to get better. I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, mommy, do you like my shirt? Oh, we're matching. Mommy, thank you for everything. I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. Except dancing, of course, mommy. You know, I dancing is my one true love. <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! <laughs> hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? Mommy, I'm saying that you're kind of... You've been kind of lonely for a number of years now. You know, you kind of need to settle down. Gotta, gotta get me permanent daddy, Mommy. As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it. I say go for it. I, I can't... always question myself. Mommy, I can't help but notice I'm still an only child over here. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. I wouldn't expect there there would be anywhere, really. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris' secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. She probably figured it out. You know, the... the hair and everything. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But...
Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. I, I know it's a dramatic moment. I just wanted to point out that they didn't take the ears off. She's lying in her hospital bed with the ears still on. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. Oh yeah, you, you were about to tell us that and then we got interrupted. Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. Of course, nanomachines. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. Nanomachines. Nanomachines. Nanomachines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money. Before it was too late, so I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Ah, so she said she couldn't think of a solution, so she thought of a solution. Yeah? It, yeah? Yeah. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called so and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until so came. When he finally arrived, he walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Uh. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. Kylo Ren messaged him? You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. I didn't realize there was such a crossover in this game. Silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Komakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Komakuras. Even if he found out who I was, without the Komakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. So I'm I'm just going to put this out there. What what if he decided that the uh, thing he should do is just pick up this frozen body, run out of the warehouse and just chuck it in the ocean? Like he could have done that and then there would have been no proof anymore. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened.
I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... I mean, he shouldn't have... Can't be. Shouldn't have both eyes there. Why is one of the eyes gray? Iris. Did he have like a replacement uh, fake glass eye to put in there? I thought Iba was in the car powering up. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe Iba was just turned off but still in his head? I guess. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion just as much Whoops. as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Do your job, damn it. Date, snap out of it. All right. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. The Tommy moved it. Apparently no one can find it in this forklift. It's the perfect hiding spot. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Well, at least we have an idea from another timeline. We already know the answer to that. Rohan had a thing for the eyeballs. Did you tell Renju about blackmailing So? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Did you ask Renju for money? He seems like he's doing pretty well, but... Summarize this for me. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Yeah, remember that? That murder we're supposed to be investigating? Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly... Headed for the exit. What's more important, Date? Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. Oh, right. That's You're trying to find her. But you have no idea where she is, right? Absolutely none. Do you know something? Yes. Well, that sounds dramatic. 
How do you know where Iris is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I see you found a, a loophole. You're not calling anyone. You're just telling me this directly. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. Uh, do we think it's Renju? We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. Listen to the rest of the story. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? I'm sorry, but this stops now. What are you doing, Pewter? Date, run! Boss! Please, do not worry. I mean, it seems like there's a lot to worry about, Pewter. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. They? The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Yeah, I'm not a detective. Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. I had authority? As of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Now tell me, where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Alright, take me there. Well, of course, the abandoned factory. Is this where the prototype machine is? I think it was. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. But how did I know that? It's like I remember something from before six years ago. Date. I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Summon some ice, but that will only buy time. It's a, it's a pretty good icon. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, Peter will be able to access logic, my core programming. He would be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher-ups 
really see you as a threat, Dr. Cooper. They are attempting to limit your power by removing you from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I will cease to exist. Date? What's wrong? My eyeball is dying, Hitomi. Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours? Should it be plenty of time? I don't know. Well, we've got our gun out. I'll go in first. You wait here. Maybe we should also get a magazine while we're here. Okay. Just for... Just for reinforcements. Is that... The case remains unsolved. Sure, let's save. All right, well, we finally found Renju. This this entire right side of the timeline, we were looking for Renju. We finally found him, but he was dead. Oh, another lock. This timeline has two locks on it. All right. So, what that, yeah, that means this is unlocked now. Because that was the only other option that we had. All right. So, we went down this time. So, the timeline that this whole thing is about. So, this whole thing is looking for Renju and just never finding him and also hanging out with Iris. And then Iris vanishes. And it turns out she is a brain tumor. And we find out that she is not actually Hitomi's daughter, but had her actual mom looked exactly like her. And was murdered 18 years ago, and that was the dead Iris that we were seeing. And then we finally track down Renju. He is dead and in the prototype machine, and we are trapped with number 89 in the room with the prototype machine, and Aiba only has four hours before she gets deactivated. Things are looking bad. Over here, this one ended with us seeing a video of the boss killing So Sejima, and that's where this ended. Like, that was the lock. And that's the only place that we can go now. So, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Next time, we're going to be starting over here, and I assume maybe finishing whatever is over here, and I assume that that would then unlock this. And... I guess we're approaching the end of this mystery because we are we have actually been getting some some more concrete information such as well why Hitomi might have been talking with Sosajima what their link might be finding out um hmm finding out well we found out what the dead iris was we got the explanation for that this this strange explanation for what the dead iris was we found out that you can swap bodies in the sink machine that seems like a big deal it was only mentioned now um why didn't renju give hitomi the money for the nano machines he, you'd think it seemed like he had a lot of money i don't know i don't know um and we found out that the original, well, probably we're saying that the original Cyclops killer was the combination of Rohan, who we already knew, but the other person was the 12-year-old son 
of Sosajima. And we know Date is Sosajima's son, reinforcing the idea that Date was the guy who was actually doing the killings in the original Cyclops killings. It's reinforcing that idea. Um, but as for what they mentioned before, what does this have to do with Shoko Nadame's death? We still don't know. That's really hasn't come up too much. That's the original murder that set this off, but we have no idea really how any of this might link to her or what anything has to do with anything. Except now that we found Renju's dead body in the prototype machine with his eye missing, then that maybe that reinforces the idea that Shoko was also killed after being put in the prototype machine, and that's why her eye was missing. So that kind of reinforces that idea. I did bring up the idea earlier of, um, after they talked about body swapping, that maybe the murderer is just swapping into each victim's body, so it's the same person, but maybe a different body each time. I don't know if that's where they're going with that. Could be, could be a possibility. I'm not sure. I don't know. If it was, then what would that be? Like, hmm, maybe Shoko swapped bodies with Renju and then killed her original body, thus killing Renju. And then maybe in this timeline, Shoko in Renju's body then swapped with 89 and then killed Renju's body, thus killing 89. And though maybe the person who's confronting us is the body of 89, but the mind of Shoko? Mm? I, look, the, you, you know who wrote this game. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Hopefully, we're going to find out more last time, as it seems like we're approaching the endgame of AI The Somnium Files. I'll see you next time.